it's officially touched down in Tokyo Narita. First time here, it almost feels a little bit surreal to be here. I'm very excited. However, you know, it's been a long travel day. Um, I left the house like 12 hours ago at 5 a.m., flew from uh, Vietnam. Uh, flight was delayed, blah, 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 blah. You don't want to hear about all that stuff, but we're here now and uh, exciting times. Got to figure out and navigate our way through the airport and get some SIM card and rail pass and all that jazz. Is this, what's this for? Oh, got it, got it. Oh, wow, okay. First time I see this. It's a culture thing, I guess. <laughs> I think I may have just got absolutely fleeced for a SIM card, but uh, never mind. It happens. Maybe that's just the price. Anyway, I paid 34 pounds. 6,500 yen for a 15-day SIM card, one gigabyte per day. Seems a little bit expensive to me, but there you go. I'm not in uh, Vietnam anymore. I'm in Japan, so that is what it is. I'm just looking online here, and it looks like I could have got a 16-day one, 50 gigabyte for a lot less than I paid. Lesson learned. I should have shopped around a little bit. Hello. Um, right, the guy has just walked off as I need his help. All fare information will be displayed in Minor ticket, I need to get to Ueno, so... Um, excuse me, would, would I need um, a, a liner ticket or a regular ticket to get to Ueno? No, the liner ticket, Skyliner is the fastest way to get to Ueno Station. You okay. can reserve a seat. Okay, because I will do that, yeah. Is it, is it like a big difference in the price or is it reasonable? Yeah, Skyliner costs 2570. Okay. Ordinary train costs 1270. Skyliner time... Okay, I Skyliner is okay. okay? Yeah. Okay. All fare information will be displayed in a... Yes. Ueno station? Yes. Yes. The next one departs at 6.02 in about 10 minutes. Okay. Just one ticket? Yeah. Which do you prefer, window seat or aisle seat? Um, aisle seat is fine. And do you have any IC card? No. no. Then my ticket, please. And the credit card? Does yeah. your card have the PIN code? Um, I can do it with my phone. Is no, it? I no, no. It has a PIN card, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, inside here. Okay, thank you. Which way do I need to head? Number one. Number one. Oh yeah, thank you. Guys, it's quite intense. <laughs> Can't lie to you. Right, number one, this way. This is a little bit intense. But we're getting there, ladies and gents. We've got our ticket to take the Skyliner to Ueno Station. That's going to take 41 minutes. Happy days. 2,570 yen. It's not too bad, it's about $15. So we've already spent about $55 in the airport. Japan trains, they hold a good reputation around the world. And this one is not, um, this one is not letting us down. It is exactly on time, as you expect in Japan, eh? Okay, we're all settled in for our little 45 minute journey into Tokyo. I'm excited to get to the hostel and I'm excited to put the stuff down and go out for that first walk when you're in a new place and everything's very exciting. We're almost there. I was actually planning to go to Shinjuku or the Shibuya crossing one of the main areas tonight. 
Um, but it's already six o'clock, and by the time I get to the hostel, it's literally going to be like probably seven or eight. So I'm not sure we're going to get a chance to do that because my hostel is quite far away from that area. But we shall see. We shall see. We shall go out for a night walk and see what we get up to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, we are at our stop, Ueno. Now we've got to uh, take a 10 minute walk, I believe, to my hostel. I'm staying in a capsule hotel for the third time in my life. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, actually. After all of that, oh my God, we're finally out on the streets where we're about to be. It's gonna be my first look on the Tokyo streets. It's, I feel like it's, I'm in like a, in a video game or something, I don't know. I'm like the main character right now. Oh man, what? That is so cool. It's just so cool. <laughs> there's, there's not even that much to see. Like, I guess like the locals probably just think it's a regular street. And then I'm looking around thinking, whoa, so cool, man. Just look at it. Wow. We're here. We're here. Amazing. Okay. Which way have we got to go? You know when you get that feeling when you walk around a new place, you just got a big smile on your face. Wow. Just exactly how you imagined it, you know? Exactly how I imagined it. Um, I don't even know what to say, I'm stumped. It's just cool, isn't it? It's just cool. Japan just has such a rich culture and very unique way of doing things. And just to see that in the flesh is just very cool. And all of my um, interactions so far with locals have been like incredibly polite, as you would imagine. Everyone's been so helpful. I even had a laugh with the security guy in the airport. That was nice. And like everyone I've asked for help has like dropped everything and like tried to help me as best as they can, which is really quite shocking. Um, Cause it's not what we usually get, you know? my first crosswalk here. Uh, everything's like, oh, my first is my first that. So funny. Oh, feels good. The anticipation coming here was at an all time high. Honestly, I've done quite a lot of traveling over the past few years, but this is one of the most excited times I've ever been to come to a country. Um, just because it, it has one, been one of those bucket list spots for, for such a long time. I just witnessed something that, uh, yes, again, is exactly how I would have uh, pictured it to be. Like, we're just on this tiny little road. There's no cars anywhere in sight, but it's a red light. Um, so no one's crossing. So obviously I'm not gonna be the odd one out and cross, but yeah, I just think it's very interesting to see every, like literally 20, 30 people just waiting when there's not a car in sight. Um, in the UK, we would, we would just cross. Um, whether that's good or bad, I don't know, but it's a difference. It's an observation, that's all. Oh, just look down that street. <laughs> Jesus, amazing. Wow, my hostel is really, really in the ends. Move forward a bit and then left. I'm in a real kind of quieter part of town, Ueno. A little bit cheaper here as well. That plays a big part in where you stay, right? Oh, I think I went too far. Okay, I think it's down that one. Yeah. Should be. Let's hope this place actually exists. You know, this kind of street back home, like <laughs> this would be a scary street to walk down at this time, but here, you don't really have to be concerned about that. Right. Okay, the door is locked. What do we do? 
This is the night entrance for the hotel guests only from... Huh? 11 to 6... 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, main entrance around the other side. Okay. Look at that. Just a vending machine for drinks on the street. That's so funny. <laughs> well, that'd get bashed up in most countries. I wouldn't be there for long. The drinks would be gone. Okay, here in most hostel. This is the front entrance. That looks a little bit more warming. Okay. Let's see if we can find the reception. Okay, reception is here. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. We have made it. Whew. Sure. Three zero six. This is my bed. It will do the job. It's very small. But that's not a problem. I better be quiet because there's uh, it's not just me in here. Hopefully we have some quiet guests so I can get a good night's sleep. But I'm being a bit hip hypocritical there. Bathroom, all very, very clean. That's all you want, really, is clean. Oh, happy days. thoughts it's very clean um, <laughs> but it's very small <laughs> um, yeah I mean I usually put all my tech stuff like have a spare table just put it all over there like a charging station so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about that but we're gonna figure it out this is uh, this is the Japanese way at least if you're a solo traveller, so. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, we are out and about on our first Tokyo mission and I'm buzzing, as you can tell. Oh, I haven't set my clock straight. It's just about to turn eight o'clock and your boy's out to find some ramen. Ramen, I don't know, I don't know what. I don't know what it is, but walking around these streets, even, it's, just, it's just so cool, like, they're just so charming. Look where I'm going. What, what, look at this. What's this? What's this? What? What? It's just nuts. God. Wow. It's cold. Really cold. I did not put enough layers on. What was I thinking? But honestly, this, this feels like it should be a very dangerous, scary area. But it's not. It's absolutely not. Look, woman with her dogs. Look at this. Tell me that just isn't the coolest vibe you've ever seen. Everything's just how it should be, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it's just exactly how it should be. We have got four days in Tokyo, followed by three or four days in Nozawa Onsen up north. Skiing, proper bucket list item. I've never been skiing before. Um, I've been indoor, but that doesn't really count. Followed by Kyoto, followed by Osaka. The places that everybody goes, I know, but I am a tourist. What can I tell you? Turn left, okay, down here, wow. Literally, all these streets are like, I don't know, look, just look at it. Do I, do I really need to say anything? Just look at it, man. Wow. <laughs> it's so unique. I've never seen anything like it. So cool. 
Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm getting a bit too excited now. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I'll turn left over there. It's all right to get a bit too excited on your first time in a new place, surely. Let me off, guys. Let me off. So the name of the place we are trying to find is called Ramen Nagayama. Is it this one? Is this Ramen Nagayama? Yeah. It is, okay. There's a wait. It's good ramen then. It must be good, okay. That's good news. That's one tip for anybody who's traveling, right? You find a place on Google Maps. Don't overthink it. Just just find a place that's decent rated. You turn up. Now, it confirms if it's good or not. If it's got, if it's full of locals, that's when you know. If you turn up and there's only tourists in there, maybe you better move on to a different spot. But I'm happy to wait. I'm sure it won't take too long. Ramen here is basically like fast food, so I'm sure uh, two people will be out very shortly and I can jump in their spot. Oh, bite here. Oh, do you think you can help me? Because <laughs> I don't know what to get. Okay. Maybe like uh, just the most popular, the most common one is okay. So maybe this normal ramen is popular. Okay. Money. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, I was hoping to pay with card. <laughs> Do you, oh, I think I need to go to ATM. They don't, they don't take card, I guess. Oh, I made a grave error. I've just waited for 30 minutes outside that restaurant. And I was hoping that they take card, but they absolutely do not. So I need to go and get some cash. Oh, it's a shame because now there's loads more people waiting outside. Let's see if uh, Family Mart has got an ATM. Oh, they do. Thank God for that. I'm gonna have to run back soon. Okay, cash secured. I don't even know what damage it's cost me yet because I was just clicking buttons on the ATM. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're back. We are back. Oh, shit. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I might have to wait in the queue again. I can't, would you, I can't explain to them, so. So you reckon I should go for this one, huh? Is this is this tonkotsu by any chance? Normal, that's fine. Yeah. So we press this one. And then what's that gonna cost us? One thousand. Put that in there. Okay. Press that one. Got our little ticket. And then, and then what? And then press this. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you so much. I feel like a child. <laughs> okay, we're in business now. We finally uh, managed to get here. We're finally gonna get some food. We don't uh, we don't do this vending machine business in the UK, so I've not seen that before. Very cool way of doing it. Easy way to uh, get your order in anyway. 
<laughs> Not so easy when you don't ref read Japanese, though. Okay. Oh, I'll go for this one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Everyone has been very helpful, though, so that's always makes things a lot easier. Okay. Are you done one? Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, fair enough. I will respect the privacy. Maybe he doesn't want his famous recipes leak into the world. Okay, all right. Here we go. Should I put anything into it? Or should I put anything inside? Or just without some of this? Oh, garlic's good. Okay, yeah, thank you. All right. Nice. She chose the right one for me. Right, this is going to be our first first meal in Japan right here. Let's see what tone it sets for the rest of the trip. Oh, wow. The broth is so <laughs> flavoursome. That is a joke. That is so good. I will be eating here again over the next few days, I would imagine, because it's right by my hotel. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, if you don't mind. Let me give you a, you can check out the YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Thank you. I'll give you this, and you can wow. check out the YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. It, it will be in one of my videos. Can I give this to you? This will be in my video. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, everyone's so nice. Everyone is so, so nice. That is a high standard that has been set for my first meal here in Japan. Um, but yeah, that's going to end day one here. I need to go back and get some sleep. It's nine o'clock. I say it as if that's late, but, um, yeah, whole travel day. I'm knackered. We'll see you in day two. Ladies and gents, we are out day two. You guessed it once again in Tokyo. First full day, sun is shining. Couldn't ask for more than that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Unreal. We're going to be uh, walking to our first destination because I'm not too adept with the public transport yet. And uh, it looks like it will take a similar time to walk as it would take the metro. So obviously your boy's going to get his legs working, try and uh, keep warm as it is pretty cold weather, but it helps when the sun's shining. So that's all good. But yeah, we're on the way to Ahekaba. I think I'm saying that, I think about Electric Town, um, which is about a half an hour walk. So we're going to get on our way there, hopefully find some breakfast on the way because I haven't eaten anything yet. It's uh, 10 a.m. I was actually hoping to get out a little earlier than this, but you know, you need sleep after a travel day, don't you? Hostel was pretty good. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, everything's clean, bed was comfy. Everyone was quiet, which is the main thing in a hostel. I did have my earbuds in, but everyone was quiet, which was a nice, uh, nice surprise. But yeah, we're on the way. 7-Eleven might have some breakfast for us. Let's see. Oh, I can get coffee in here as well. That is good news. I will probably get a coffee. Okay, this is where we've got to figure out how to work the machine. 
hot coffee, yep, that, that's a good sign. I want hot coffee. Now what we're gonna do? Please make your purchase at the counter. So do I buy it here? And then after I can make the coffee. Okay, one second, I will look around first. Okay, they've probably seen this many times. What a tourist, doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Breakfast stuff, okay. Thing is, I'm not quite adept to the Asian breakfasts yet, so I'm looking for some kind of bread. That'll do me. Some kind of pastry. Um, not quite sure 7-Eleven has got the job for me. I mean, there's a lot of nice stuff for lunch. All of this stuff I can do lunch. But breakfast, oh, it's a different story. See, even that looks pretty good, right? What else we got? We got yogurts. Yakult. Oh, the famous Yakults, yeah. Oh, we know these brands. Meiji, Yakult. International brands. So we got the Japanese magazines, look. Japanese magazines. There you go. And we've got all the Japanese drinks. We've got coffees here, 120 yen. How much is that? Oh, that's cheap. Very reasonable. About two dollars, I believe. No, one dollar. I'm definitely going to be checking my maths again after yesterday's uh, disappointment with the SIM card. I overpaid by about three times what I should have paid, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Oh, we found the bakery section. Okay, this is what we were looking for. Can you recommend anything from here? Oh, I do like oh. sweet or... Uh... Sweet is good, yeah, sweet is good. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a... I've never seen these before. Custard and raisin, wow. Is it Anko? No, no, no. I don't know this. This looks good. Anko is a Japanese sweet. Okay. Mm. Nice. Okay. I will try it. I will try it. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. The local tells us we've got to get this sweet beans and butter toast. So we're going to try it. Oh, we need to buy the coffee first. Can you tell it's my first day in Tokyo? <laughs> Uh, yes, please, yeah. There's two sizes? Two uh, sizes. Large one, yeah. This is the thing in... Uh, okay, thank you very much. Oh, I need to pay now, don't I? <laughs> Cash is good. So I don't pay you, I pay the machine. Interesting, okay. It's quite hard to do this with one hand. Cash, yes. 350, okay. Oh, oh okay, so I need the face up. Oh, this way, wow, it's the first time I've ever seen put cash in that way. Everything's different in Japan, eh? Okay. There's my receipt, don't need that. Okay, brilliant. Where am I gonna put that? It's difficult to do everything with one hand. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye. Right, now we're gonna try and work the coffee machine. Okay. Bye, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Oh, there you go. Okay. First time I need someone to show me and then after it I'll be okay. Uh, normal. Thank you. I'm absolutely roasting hot in here. I need to get out ASAP. Black coffee, that'll do me. And 
and we're headed out. That came to 350 yen in total. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Cheap. Okay, we're going to pop that here, look. Actually, we're going to pop that right here with the road view. And then we're going to give this something uh, a try. Sweet bean and butter toast. First time. First time ever trying this. Let's give it a go. Hey, you know what? That's pretty good. Oh, very greasy. <laughs> That's quite good. Very sweet. A little bit chewy, very sweet, but it's a 7-Eleven version, so I can't imagine it's the best one ever. But even this is, is pretty decent. I think that'll do me for breakfast. That's the problem when you're in a cold country, eh? You're prepared for the indoors. So you're prepared for the outdoors. And then you go inside for two minutes and you're sweating your bean off. <laughs> oh man. That's quite funny just now. I stopped at a red light and uh, these two middle-aged Japanese women were looking over at me. And then uh, I turned around and, and they said, very nice hair. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, and then she, you walk it up and she's just, have a lovely day. It's like, wow, what a nice interaction. What a lovely thing to say. We should do that more, right? If we uh, like someone's clothes or hair or whatever, we should compliment them more. It makes people feel good. What's wrong with making people feel good? Nothing. Oh, I'm a bit out of breath after coming up here. I've come upstairs, look, to uh, cross over this mammoth road. They do a lot of these in China where they just raise up the uh, pedestrian path over the road it makes such a huge difference. Wow. I'm literally not even at my first destination yet, but I can't stop pressing the record button and just showing you around. Look at this. I mean, I'm sure this is nothing special compared to what's to come around Tokyo. But man, it's just, everything's on different levels. Everything's like, working oh man I don't even I'm, I'm just speechless I've never I've honestly never been this way when visiting a new country for a long time um, I'm just so excited about everything I feel like a little kid in a sweet shop and everyone has been so nice so far that always helps a lot you know put you in a good mood and it's just awesome. Look at this. I was about to say everyone going to work, but I don't think it is because it's a Sunday. So I'm guessing uh, a bunch of people are probably off. Maybe going shopping or don't know. Whatever they're doing. Japanese parking attendants. Someone's in trouble. Someone is in deep trouble. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Big trouble. Shouldn't be parking there, mate. <laughs> I'm not sure they were too happy about that. Look! What? What? Oh, it's so annoying because I'm on the way to a destination, right? But every street I looked at, I'm like, oh, I've got to go down there. I've got to go down there. But I can't. There's not enough hours in the day to go down every street in the city. It's a mammoth city. It really is a mammoth city. Approximately 14 million people live in here. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. No way, look at this. It's the Tokyo Marathon. As if. I had no idea. Just like that. Just like that. Wow. Look at all the people. This is the first time I've ever seen a city marathon. Oh my word, let's get the selfie stick up in the air a little bit. Wow. Look at all the people. Come on, lads. <laughs> That's unreal. Wow. Look at all of them. 
I'm sure they don't just run in circles, but it looks like they are because there's just so many of them. Are they running around the whole city? Man, what a day to get here. What a perfect day to arrive. The Tokyo Marathon. Ladies and gents, would you believe such a thing is happening on our first day here? It's like it was meant to be. Yeah, I would have got involved if, uh, if I knew it was on. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be able to run like half a mile before falling over. Christ. Honestly, people who run marathons, they're built differently. They are very, very strong-minded athletes. Incredible. I just can't get over that my first walk out of the hotel on the first day, like, just Tokyo Marathon. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Amazing. Fair play to everyone running. Fair play. Okay, I'm in uh, Akihabara Electric Town. This is where a lot of the games, uh, Japanese games came from, like Sega games, Pokemon, um, and a lot of the maid cafes are here apparently, but um, I was quite keen to go in a maid cafe until I realized uh, after researching online a bit, it's pretty much impossible to film in any of them. So that kind of renders it a little bit useless in my opinion, because I do think it's a bit of a weird thing, but maybe I'll do one anyway and let you know how it is. Um, but yeah, I need to find a trash bin. I am really struggling to find a rubbish bin, to be honest. That is one thing I, I'm quite surprised about. I thought they'd be everywhere here. You know what? I, I'm just looking down every street and I want to go everywhere. Everything I look at is just like, like, what on earth is this? Let me turn you around. What on earth is this? Look at it. Wow. Look at those buildings. So colourful. So like anime, arty. It's the anime district. That's what I was supposed to say. Akihabara, it's the anime district. Uh, now, I am going to be honest with you. I am not a expert in any of these areas in Japan. I don't know why they're here, where they've come from. Um, this is just me exploring as a tourist. I've, I don't know anything about Japan, basically. When I, try, when I come to a place, I try not to uh, do too much research about it because it's nice to uh, just explore it with the naked eye and take it for what it is and see it all. I don't ever want to turn the camera off. There's just too much to miss. I mean, just take it all in. The, the things people are wearing, the smiles on people's faces, the buildings. You know, there's just so much to look at. Wow, oh, I just can't. Look at this guy, pink hair. It must be a wig, <laughs> definitely a wig. And look at this. They've got these absolutely everywhere. Interesting that the, the girls here as well, like even, um, Girls that are like well over their 20s, like even into their 30s, they're wearing like little pink bows in their hair and everything's all about being very cute. And uh, it's just very interesting to see, yeah. In the West, they, uh, girls try and look older, whereas in uh, the East, particularly in Japan, I feel like that, that culture has spread out from Japan. Um, you know, it's all about looking younger. Um, so that, that's why they do that. Oh, squeeze through there. Someone filming something there. Wow. Just magnificent stuff right here. Oh my word. That is the Akihabara electric town, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, check this police car out. I'll tell you what, when I've got my Lamborghini, he ain't gonna be catching me in there, is he? What is that? I mean, don't get me wrong, it is so cool. It's like a little Japanese box, you know? Just exactly how I would expect a police car to be here. And maybe they don't even need fast cars because there's basically no crime anyway. So it's not like they need fast cars to catch people. There's barely, there's barely a police presence here around this marathon. There's like, 
there's probably one police officer per like 100 people or 200 people, which is absolutely not what you'd expect for something, you know, as big as this event is. But that really goes to show, you know, the, uh, the culture here in Japan is very calm and everyone's very respectful and uh, the etiquette, you know, is, is really a high priority. Although their, their etiquette is very different to ours, um, but they, they really value, um, you know, people doing things a certain way. I swear I've, I've walked at least a kilometre without finding a single, <laughs> a single rubbish bin. I'm not sure if that's a thing here. I didn't know, but can't find one anywhere. So it's hard to complain though when I'm trying to find one and I'm seeing places like this. Just look at that. Look at that. That, that just come out straight out of a movie. I feel like every street here, I could film a video, I could film a movie, I could film... Look at... This is just taking the piss now. Look at it. No words need to be spoken. Sometimes. Oh, here's a maid cafe, look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's uh, stood outside a maid cafe. I don't know, I feel a bit weird about going in one of those. It feels a bit creepy, you know? Like I want to do it to experience it, but at the same time it just feels like wrong. But I don't know, let me know in the comments if, if, the, if that's something that has been like sexualized. Um, because certainly like my or our Western point of view is that that's considered like a very sexualized thing to, um, but it's very weird because they're, they're dressing up as like maids, you know, I don't know. I don't even want to go into that topic, but yeah, I just wonder if it's seen that way here in Japan or it's just like, hasn't got that uh, stigma around it at all. Bush, just like that, Namco. I think uh, my old man would love it here. By the time I'd grown up, um, gaming had moved on to PlayStation and Xbox, but a little bit before my generation was all the arcade games that Nan Nanco and Sega were making. Oh, this guy's playing. We'll, we'll watch this guy play. Can I watch you play? <laughs> okay. Come on, you got this. This time, this is the one. There we go. Can he get it? Can he get it? It looks good. Oh, oh, okay, you have to change it so it falls through that box. Wow. So many different ones, look. This is to win some sort of like model figure. See, these kind of things, these, these model figures, it's never really been something I've been into myself. But you know, they're crazy popular in, in a lot of countries, especially in Japan. Um, and there's like collectible editions and some of them sell for a lot of money. It's really quite fascinating part of the culture. Well, let's go upstairs. It's just like, I think it's just for like arcades, man. Just a load of arcades. I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling. Let's see what we find. Look at this. A load more. Can win Pikachu. Now in my head, this would be something that like pretty much only tourists are coming to look at, but it's obviously not the case. They're still very popular with locals. I mean, it's a Sunday, it's probably a little hobby. Come out to the, the Namco place and just try and win yourself a little, a little Pac-Man. Why not? Oh, this is where the real arcade stuff is. Check this out. These guys are the masters. Look at this guy. This guy's done this before, I know. Wow. Wow, <laughs> amazing. I've never seen this drum one before. It looks popular though, this guy is playing it as well. 
Wow, oh, they're all playing it. Wow, look at that. Oh, this is this guy's amazing. I can't take a video of this. From what I know, it's like a flex to be good at arcade games. If you're like a Japanese kid, I've heard that it's like a proper flex to be sick at games. No one thought I was cool. Maybe I should have grown up in Japan. Oh, there's an underground. This, is, this must be where it's at. This is where the hardcore gamers are. Underground. No windows. Oh yeah, look at this. This is this is where it's at. Oh my word. I love that they still like proper play the the arcade games. They haven't only moved on to like PS4. You see, there's even the controller here. Like if you want to use the controller, but most of the guys are using like the the joystick and the buttons which is so cool. It's obviously a big thing. Gaming with the boys, imagine this. Coming here on a Sunday afternoon and gaming with the boys. Oh my God, that must be so much fun. I've literally got cold chills thinking about how good that must be. Whew, what a journey. What a journey so far, oh man. Just, what can I even say? There's just too much to do, there's too much to look at. I can have a rest station. This is where we try and figure out how we can get a, a metro ticket. Oh dearie, dearie me. Okay. Here we go. Uh, reserved seat, non reserved seat. Um, for for free seating on express trains, precious. Oh my God. There's so many options. Oh my God, I really don't know. Let's try this one. What? I'm trying to get to Tokyo Station. I got money, I don't, I don't even know wh which one's which. I need to look at these first. Look, this one's got a hole in. This coin's got a hole in. Never seen that before. Okay, this one's gold, that's gotta be a lot. Oh, 500, okay. Okay, I need help. Hello, sir. C could, could you help me get a ticket to Tokyo Station? Yeah. Sorry? Can I do it here or no? In the, the the machine. Okay. What what line is it? Okay. Which is Yam Green Line. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I've got some. Uh, One fifty. Apparently, I've got some help from the man. And he tells me I need to get a 150. Um, maybe I'll change it to English. Okay, we've got a bunch of change. Okay, and we've got a ticket. Now I think that ticket is gonna get us through the gate, hopefully. So I think what you do is, do I put that there? How do I put this there? Oh, gotta go through that one, I think. Okay, we're through. The ticket did us wonders. Okay, now we're looking for the green line. Yamanote line for Tokyo. Okay, this way. God, it's quite stressful when you're trying to figure it out for the first time, I can't lie. For Ueno, I think that's the wrong way. Okay, we need to go to Tokyo direction. Yes, I see the word. That's a good sign. No, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Up here. It seems what you do here is, um, yeah, when you're buying the ticket, you buy it for the amount of kilometers that you're doing, something like that. And then if you have gone further than that, when you get to the other station, you have to pay the extra to the, to the guard. Very interesting way of doing it. I just realized I'm stood on the wrong boat. Everyone stood on the left. So I'm guessing I need to stand on the left. There's a lot of like little cultural things that, you know, we we'll probably get away with doing them wrong, being a foreigner and a tourist, but uh, still, you want to try and do things the right way if you can. Okay, here we go. Here we are. The Metro. Luckily, this one is not crammed full, as I've seen some funny clips at rush hour of the uh, Japanese Metro trains people like the guards like pushing people in at the side so first time on a Japanese metro wow my head is almost touching the uh, the hand things we're just gonna stand right in the middle it's actually very similar to the uh, Chinese ones very modern, very spacious, very clean. And very cheap too, I just realized, yeah. I got this ticket, 150 yen, that's like one dollar. Not bad, not bad at all. Right, this is huge. Absolutely monster. All right, we're trying to find the, uh, the toilets, which I see a sign for over here. Although, I know we've got the POV, view going on but we're not going to be uh, taking you into the toilet with me. Ladies and gents, I'm going to give you a little life hack right here when you're traveling. When you go into cities with uh, metro stations with like 25 different exits that all go to different roads, tip, open your Google Maps, see which direction you're facing and just walk that way and it pretty much always works. So I've just found that we are, we're heading to here and we're facing that way so bosh. And then I started seeing signs for Imperial Palace. Bob's your uncle. We're going the right way. Uh, I can see a bunch of signs with big red letters on, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be going this way. Can I go this way? Can I come this way? No. How, how to get out? Oh, I have to go all the way back. Okay, so down there, right, and then out. Okay, thank you. Well, that's a shame. I was, go I was going the right way, but I spoke too soon, didn't I? Of course, the marathon's on. There's high security around uh, those exits. Only, only staff can go that way. Not sure what that's all about. But I've been, been instructed to go this way and right. So that's what we're going to do. have to have some kind of bag check. So uh, it's fine, yep, that's, that's what we've got to do. Can we come this way? No, the staff will pass with us. Sorry? Staff pass with us, it's the band. Oh, oh so how to get out? And then, and then right, okay, thank you. Okay, can't go that way either. You have to have some sort of uh, pass or wristband to go that way. Okay, it's for staff only. Right, we're gonna find an exit at some point, I hope. Well, which way do we go? I don't know which way to go. Hello, excuse me. Do you know which way I, I can get out? <laughs> uh, just here. Okay. Outside the Marunouchi building. This this way. Okay. Right side and door inside and upstairs. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, we have clear directions now. Okay, we found the way. We found the way out. They're really running a tight ship round here. 
Which way we're gonna go? Let's have a look. Okay, we're gonna head that way. That doesn't look easy. That does not look easy. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's all uh, Tokyo Marathon business. I'd love to know how many people are doing it. I think this must be the end, because this is right outside central Tokyo. They've got big cameras everywhere. It's all, it's all happening. These must be the first finishers, the people who have got like just under three hours. I have no idea how we're gonna get across this street to get to the Imperial Palace. I don't even know if we can go in the Imperial Palace right now. Oh, okay. How, how can we get across? Underground. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going back underground. Oh, my word. We're going back underground to try and get across. But I don't know if she knows that that's all closed. Oh, it's difficult. We're seriously on a wild goose chase right here. We've been trying to find our way to the Imperial Palace for the last half an hour, but where there's a will, there's a way. We shall get there. We will not fail, because this is one of the top sites in Tokyo, so we've got to get there. And we will. Apparently, I've got to do a left left and a straight and a left, and then uh, eventually I'm going to find myself there. <sighs> Look at that. That is what you call sky. <laughs> we made it. Almost. Wow. What a journey. <laughs> Just getting here was like a success. We've, we've done it and we haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, wow. Okie dokie, we seem to be making very good headway now towards the Imperial Palace. 45 minutes later, we are fully on track. The marathon is finished just behind me. Um, yeah, tons of, uh, tons of locals, tons of internationals doing the marathon it's quite nice to see um, all the staff speak English um, so they've been really helpful it's been a bit of a nightmare trying to navigate around it but um, at least you know they had employed a ton of people to help people out so that was uh, that was really good the Imperial Palace is over there however there are sort of like guarded gates um, with people there, so there's def I definitely can't walk that way. And I can see it's guarded gates over here as well, um, trying to get to the east of the gardens. Now, I've just searched online. Seems you can't go to the Imperial Gardens without like a guided tour or some sort. So, yeah, and I think it's actually fully closed today because of the marathon. I just looked on Google, it says it's closed on Sundays and Mondays. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm going to ask these guys to see if I can get a walk around the, uh, the moat in the East Gardens. But yeah, I'm not really sure what, what, what the plan is now. Seems these guys have the same problem. Okay, I've just seen what they've been told. So I'm going to do the same thing. The jacket's off. The shades are on. What a time to be alive here in Tokyo start of March it's only like 10 degrees but when the sun's shining down on you it's like just gorgeous okay security check to go in but free admission which is really nice I was expecting to have to uh, pay something to get in Same things, okay, thank you. Okay, we are in. We are in, baby. Delightful stuff. 
Oh, look at that behind me. That's like the old and the new right there. What a contrast. The Tokyo Imperial Palace was destroyed in 1945. Wow, in World War II. One of the many consequences of the most devastating bombing in human history was the destruction of many structures and buildings in the Imperial residence. On the night of 25th of May 1945, a coordinated firebombing raid was conducted on Tokyo's Imperial Palace. A special mission was sent to specifically target the Imperial Palace on that night and therefore several buildings were destroyed and only a few survived the attack. Due to the immense damage caused by these targeted bombings, the building of the new structures began in the 1960s and was completed in 1968. So there's no joke in saying this place has really seen some history. I always think it's incredible when you think of like these areas where buildings have just been built and rebuilt and built again and added on and fixed and still they stand here today in all their glory and millions of people every year come to visit it. Quite incredible really. What a lovely area this is. So peaceful and you have like the view of the city in the background with the old and the new together. What a view. Check this out. Okay, we've exited and now we need to go over here. This is where the moat is. Look how pristine this area is. I mean, it's just a road and a couple of buildings, but just even the paint on the road is perfect. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, just everything's pristine. Oh, check this out for a view halfway up the bridge. Wow, that is most certainly a photo opportunity. Copying everyone else's idea. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Let's carry on up here. What an amazing city this must be to live in, honestly. What an incredible place to live. Look at this pigeon, even this pigeon's happy. You know, one thing I really love is when a country, a city doesn't sacrifice its beautiful nature just to build more stuff because it's right in the center and it's gonna cost a lot and developers are gonna make a lot of money from it. No, forget that. This kind of nature should be left untouched. And I'm not just talking about the Imperial Palace Gardens, but just like New York Central Park, Hyde Park in London. You know, I lived in cities where, like Manila in the Philippines, for example, where they've completely sacrificed all of their nature. They've cut down everything just to build more stuff. And I didn't realize how much I valued nature being around until I lived there and it wasn't available. I have no idea what's going on here, but there's loads of people. Mostly young girls by what I can tell. So there must be some sort of event going on. They all look very excited. Yeah, not a clue, not a clue. Right on the edge of the uh, Imperial Gardens. Something solo festival. Maybe it's a music festival, looks like some kind of anime thing. Some anime thing, anyway, look at this. They're all getting some like merchandise. Oh look, the queue must be long. They're literally queuing up the stairs round here down here so this must be a big deal are you able to tell me what this is what 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 is this Table. it's an anime thing mm, so it's 
exciting for us? Sorry, I, my Japanese is not very good. No worries, it's okay. Singing? Oh, someone's singing. Okay, okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> wow. I don't know, I won't be visiting, but never mind. This is the moat view. Check this out. So this is where you'd see all the cherry blossom all over these trees, you know, in about a month's time. And apparently, you know, well, not apparently, you can take these boats here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And uh, apparently you have to book that like a month in advance when it's cherry blossom season, because like every man and his dog wants to do it. It looks amazing enough, even without the cherry blossom, but with it, I think that must be a sight to behold. Wow. It's one o'clock already, and I've had a piece of toast. And I've done about probably like five mile walking already. So that's the next jobby, food. Okay, I can see this is the place for food. Let's have a look. I can see. Oh, that looks good to me. Some kind of pork katsu curry. Okay. Let's figure out what's going on here. It's a popular place. Okay, hello. Uh, do I sit and get a menu or do I order here? Take out. Thank you. Oh no, I'm looking to eat some food. Oh, okay, that's the full menu. Okay, and then come here to pay. Okay, and then come here after. Oh, at the window. <laughs> okay, okay. I've never seen that before. So you pay at the window, right. Oh, okay, I don't know what any of it is. I'm going to have to use the picture. What a tourist. Are you in the queue? Are you waiting? Oh, okay. You already, you already pay? Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Hello. Take away? Um, well, I would like to sit here. Uh, sit, uh, Outside is fine. Outside, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please take I any uh, available sheet. Okay. Right. And then you, after uh, you will come? Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I really need to... Um, learn a little bit of Japanese. I feel a bit bad because I hate being that guy who goes to a different country and expects them to speak my language. Um, so I'm trying to get away with just like body language stuff and like very basic English but I don't feel good about it and I can tell that like the locals would prefer if I could speak a little bit of Japanese too. So I think when I get home tonight, I'm going to uh, get on the Duolingo. This is not sponsored, but, you know, get in touch if you would like to. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to learn a little bit. Thank you. Wow, that's great. Thank you. So here we have the uh, pork katsu. Oh, wow. Real pieces of pork in there. Oh, it's falling apart. <coughs> it's got like the uh, fried breadcrumbs around it. Looks sticky. <laughs> Holy shit, that's no joke. That is really, really good. This is the stuff. Arigato. Yes. Wow, okay. 
Okay, here we've got ourselves an espresso creme brulee. Now, how does that sound? Look at this. Oh, wow. I wanted a coffee and I wanted a dessert. So espresso creme brulee. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, that is fantastic. That is really, really good. Oh, man. So good. Hello. Uh, okay. Arigato. <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, yeah. It's about two five. It's okay. The rest is tip. No. <laughs> no tip. No, no, no tip. No tip. Oh really? Are you sure? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, but I want to because it's nice. It's <laughs> okay, okay. I will. Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice. Okay. Arigato. Bye bye. Wow. I'm uh, quite surprised at that. I tried to give a tip and yeah, they gave it back to me. They really didn't want me to. It's almost like it was offensive. Um, different cultures, different cultures. What can you say? Now I've got an extra dollar in my pocket as well. Let's take you guys into a Japanese supermarket. Even the logo is so Japanese. Let's take you into a Japanese supermarket. Even the logo is so Japanese. Let's see what they've got in here. Oh, maybe we need something. I do actually need some cream for eczema on my hands. It's very dry here, so it seems to be getting worse. No idea what all of this is, some kind of medicine. But yeah, we'll see if they got any cool little products. Little breads. They got a bunch of these different like types of bread, like apple bread, apple strudel. What is this? Some massive red bean filled donut. Oh, this is what I was looking for, look. I'm gonna take like three or four of these home with me. I absolutely love this cereal, but it's so expensive when you buy it anywhere else. I'm definitely gonna buy some of those before I leave. I hope I don't forget. It's very, very nice. Coffees, standard stuff. What else we got? Drinks, you've already seen those in the convenience store. No idea what any of this is. No oh, baby food. See, that's marketing. You need to know what it is, even if you can't speak the language. That's good marketing. Baby. Oh, they love this here, the Picari sweat. <laughs> oh, this is like a powder. Picari sweat powder. Wow, they're massive into that, they love it. Not such a fan of it, me. It actually does feel like I'm drinking sweat. Oh, maybe it's a pharmacy. Are we in a pharmacy? I think we're in a pharmacy. How have I only just realized that? Let me ask them if they've got anything for my eczema. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, it looks like they do have something. Okay, let's try it. I don't know, I can't read, so I'll trust you. <laughs> There's no way that's only 90 yen. Okay. Oh no, it's not 90 yen, it's 1,000. Okay, 1,000 is about what I was expecting. Uh, 1,023, do I have 23? 
Okay. Yep. Oh wow, see that? She just put the amount in it. Thank you very much. That's the first time I see this. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Arigato. Bye bye. Wow. Do you see that? She 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 just typed in how much I gave her and then the machine just gave her the change. First time I've ever seen that. But yeah, that's a job sorted. Okay. Japanese eczema cream. Hopefully you can sort me out. You see this uh, Starbucks up here? I'm on the way to Shinjuku Gardens. It's about a 45 minute walk. I just want to walk everywhere because it's so damn sunny. Um, but I could do with a little break. It's three o'clock and yeah, it'd be, it'd be a bit rude not to get a coffee, so we're, we're gonna get one. And I feel like may as well try, try the Starbucks in Japan, eh? I'm sure a few of you might wanna know what it's like. I could do with a little sit down to be fair, because I've already walked like a lot. Is this the queue? I think this is the queue. Are you in the queue? Oh, okay. Um, hello. Uh, I'll get a tri triple espresso latte, please. Hot. Uh, for here, yeah. Oh. I can see one. This one. Okay. If not, maybe you can give it me in a takeaway cup and then cup, okay. if there's no seats, I can leave. <laughs> okay, card please. Oh, it's okay, yeah, I have the... I have the uh... Don't do contactless here then. Seems not to be a thing. Still doing the old chip and pin way. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. Oh, just like that. <laughs> I thought I had to put the pin number in. Okay, thank you very much. Maybe there is not a seat. We shall see. That would be a real shame if not doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we'll stand and wait for one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we've got our latte. Wow, oh, it's piping hard to tell you that for free. Oh, there's a seat available already. Are you, are you leaving? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> It is uh, $3 this came in at, pretty good. Not bad at all. Gonna chill here for a while until uh, we get some energy back. Oh no, until this caffeine kicks in. Oh, thank you. Until this caffeine kicks in and we've got some more energy to uh, patrol the place. Ladies and gents, we have arrived in Shinjuku Station, the famous Shinjuku. This is one of the main uh, tourist attractions here in Tokyo. So uh, I'm excited to get a look around. Oh. Are we getting good at this now? Is it working again? Oh, no, it's not. What's happened here? I've got to go see the man. And he's going to give me a telling off, and I'm going to have to pay some more money, I imagine. All of the foreigners have the same problem. It's not just me. Hello, it will not let me through the gate. Uh, maybe I did something wrong. I'm sure I did something wrong. Okay. 20 yen, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. 20 yen extra. That's not too bad. 
just did something slightly wrong. But it happens, it happens. Where are we going now? We're underground. This just reminds me of China, this does, when like, there's just miles and miles of uh, underground <laughs> streets. It's crazy. Isn't it crazy? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying so much underground, it's crazy. Uh, in, in the UK, we have nothing underground. Uh, Here, so much underground. It's cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's my, my first day in Tokyo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time here too. So I'm making uh, videos, exploring. Yeah, excited. Have a good day, guys. Take care. Okay, we're gonna, what nice guys. Oh, sorry, mate. Uh, we've got to go up this exit, I imagine. We have exited Shinjuku Station. We are losing sunlight, unfortunately. So the quality of this video is going to take a damn hit. But not as hard as I'm about to hit the Shinjuku streets. Look at that. Mad. Looks sick. It's, uh, what time is it? Five o'clock, almost rush hour. Gonna be plenty of people around. Plenty of people. Look at this. Loads of people. Loads of them. Absolutely loads. I'm just following the crowd. To be honest, I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm sure it's uh, to the place where I need to be going. That's the beauty of here in Tokyo. I don't need to have a destination. Just walk around, see anywhere. Everywhere's cool. Everywhere's new, everywhere's interesting. So uh, yeah, don't need to be too concerned about that. But this is another like super typical, in my mind anyway, typical Japanese city street. Just so much character. Now the lights are coming on. It starts to get a bit naughty. Currency exchange. I could do with exchanging some currency, to be fair. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I do need to exchange some currency whilst I'm here, so may as well, right? There's a big queue at this one. What rate are they giving? Oh, not bad. They're giving basically the Google rate. Well, well, there's loads here, so let's just see which one. Maybe one of them does a better one. I'm, I'm sure they're all pretty much the same. One eight nine nine. Yeah, I mean, same. So uh, this one is free, so may as well go into this one. Hello, I would like to exchange some dollars, please. What is your dollar rate? Sorry. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry? 8,000. Sorry, how much will you take? Oh, 8%. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, never mind. That, that's quite a lot. Thank you. Oh, I got that very wrong. 8%. <laughs> There's me thinking it's a quality rate, and then they're like, yeah, we're gonna take 8%. Luckily, I didn't just go ahead with it. $500, 8%, that's like gonna cost me like $40 to exchange it. That's a joke. No commission. Oh, okay, that's why this one's got a big queue then. Yes, thank you. Hello, sir. I have $502. <laughs> Okay, which uh, which gets me how much? Five zero two. Five zero two. We can exchange two dollars. Okay, no worries. Thank you very much. Bye bye. That was very uh, seamless and easy. 
it's cost us about 1,200 yen uh, to change $500. So it's cost us about $8 to change 500, which is not bad at all. It's a lot better than the 40 from the other place. That's about 1% commission. Jesus, I'm glad I didn't get it over there. 40%, sorry, $40 that would have cost me. They are crazy. I've uh, learned my lesson from the SIM card and uh, adapted accordingly. <laughs> Shinjuku is really starting to come alive. The lights are coming on. People are walking about. It's all nuts. There's not one thing about it that isn't nuts. Ah, yes. Okay, I can hear some Chinese being spoken. Now I feel at home. I wonder if people here actually realize how cool their city is. I have a feeling some of them do, but some of them don't. Because I've met some Japanese people ab abroad who kind of give off the sense that they know Japan's culture is kind of up there worldwide. It has a very good reputation. They keep a very good reputation for themselves because of their etiquette and politeness and hospitality abroad. So then when people come here, they find more of the same. I've literally never heard anyone say a bad word about Japan. Which is interesting because that's very unlikely to be the case, right? Pretty much every other country, you'll have some people say, yeah, it kind of sucks. But every single person I've heard who's been to Japan just says, oh my God, it's the best place ever. It's so cool. Um, it's so cyberpunk. This is the ultimate cyberpunk street, right? Like just look behind me. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Another interesting observation. This light was just red. And everybody, everybody standing waiting to cross. They didn't all like get to the front and stand as close to the front as they can. They kind of all waited back. So there was quite a big gap between all the people waiting to cross. I mean, that, again, a small detail just goes to show like the, the politeness and, you know, oh, excuse you, you, you got there first. Like other people are not trying to like push in front or get to the front. You know, everyone waits their turn. It's wild. Just. Yeah, small details. Very interesting to me. Oh my word. That's, that's the highlight, yeah? Down here, check this out. The smallest little street you've ever seen with the smallest restaurants you may have ever seen. Look how tiny these places are. What? There's not much room in there. My word. Wow, it's like built for small people. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Later. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Oh my word, look how tiny this street is, man. I can't believe it. This is the uh, charm of Shinjuku for you. Look how tiny these places are full of people. Yakitori, the barbecue. <laughs> We're gonna get a... Wow, look at this one. Full. Oh my word, look at this one. <laughs> oh my God, they're literally pressed up against the door. And there's people waiting outside. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat in one of these places later. I don't know if I'll be able to get in though, there's not enough room. <laughs> Holy moly. This is like, just, I've never seen anything like it. Wow. What a cozy little vibe in these places, like, you know, there's, there's no way you can not talk to the people next to you, right? Especially if you're on the, in there on your own. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Oh, it says no pictures. I didn't realize that. Ah. That's interesting how some of them don't want you to film. I guess like, I don't know. It's a, it's a strange thing. I'll, let me know down in the comments if you know why that is in Japanese culture. I, I, 
there's there's literally like no filming signs on restaurants and, and that guy I could tell I, I gave him a smile he looked at me he saw the selfie stick and he was like that's when I realized oh yeah there's a sign that says don't film there's a place called Golden Guy and we are gonna head there have a little look around hopefully we don't receive more of the same kind of hostility towards the camera um, I imagine it probably will be the case though as it's just over there so they've probably got a similar vibe going on but we shall find out. Holy moly. We're really in the thick of it now. Unreal stuff. Plane going over the top. Adverts on here. Oh, this is the one I've seen on... Um, yeah, that's the one I've seen on people's, people's Instagram stories. Where it's the 3D one, right? And that cat's popping out the screen. Oh my word. Look at this. The lights are on. What a charming alleyway. Okay, we're going to get you a little wide view here. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, looks so cool. Looks so cool. Let's not hit any heads. Oh my God. I just want to run. Don't know why. I want to run. Just so full of energy. Maybe it's that triple espresso latte I had earlier. No way. Just no way. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my word. I can't believe all the colors. Look at that. <laughs> We're just gonna walk. We're just gonna walk and see see what happens try and not hit anyone over the head with this selfie stick because it could take someone's eye out i will be very careful you see this sumo wrestler up here i would really like to see a sumo wrestling match that is definitely something on my bucket list oh it's the little uh, jurassic park geezer i wouldn't say geezer but see him up there Oh my God, I'm literally the main character right now. At least I feel like it. I've not had this much fun just walking around in a long time. Holy shit. Excuse my French. Just holy shit. What else can I say? There's sushi, there's Wagyu, there's adverts. There's madness going on in every corner. There's fashion. There's tourists. There's people with smiling faces. There's people with suitcases. Oh, that rhymed. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I don't need any more Krispy Kremes, I'll tell you that. I was looking for fruit, not Krispy Kremes. God. I just got a dirty look by that woman. I don't know why. She, she looked at me like, Never mind. Oh, I don't know which way to go. Everywhere looks cool. No, I don't think this one looks the coolest. This one looks the coolest. Let's go this way. Look at all the, all the flashing lights, man. The character, the swagger. Wow. More photos shall be taken. Isn't, aren't these just the perfect streets to take photos? Like every street, you can just take a photo and it looks sick. Mm -hmm. Every street, you can just take a photo. Look at this one, another photo. Oh man. I feel like this video could be about two hours long. Look at this, what's this? I don't even know what this is. Okay, here we are, patrolling the streets of Golden Guy with Ollie Barrett on Ollie Barrett Raw. We're here, we're doing it, solo. Solo in Tokyo. I was told there was supposed to be like a bazillion bars around this area, 
but right now all I can see is restaurants, so maybe I'm in the wrong place, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Look at this, girls bar, nom nom. What's a girls bar nom nom? That sounds a bit rude. Is it for girls or for guys? Girls bar, is it for guys or girls? I haven't quite figured it out yet. God, I bet some of these hotels are very expensive. Right in the heart of Shinjuku. I mean, even a hostel, even a hostel here, capsule hotel was like 80 or $100 a night. So I bet those ones with like proper nice rooms must be a lot. Well, maybe someday. Maybe someday when I've got a load of cash and there's like a billion of you watching this video, that would be amazing. I can come back in like five years, 10 years, and I can stay in one of those. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Check this police van out. Oh, let's not walk in the road. It's pretty cool though. Oh, it's a female driver, how about that? Even cooler. Ladies and gents, we are in the Golden Guy. Kind of quiet down here. Maybe it's not late enough. Loads of intimate little bars. Very, very cool signs. It's probably about all you can see. Mostly can just see foreigners in them at the moment. Cover charge, 500 yen. Yeah, I've heard that's the thing. A lot of them have cover charges. Oh, wow. So cool. Wow. <laughs> There's literally like, these bars can, that one can just fit like five people in. I would stick the camera in there, but like, quite obviously they don't want me to do that. So I shall refrain from doing such a thing. Although I really want to, because some of these places have just so cool, like literally five chairs, tiny little bar. The, 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 the bar owner is like talking with all the customers. What a cool way to do business. <laughs> just, no words, no words, man. What? It's just crazy, so quiet. I was expecting it to be like hustle and bustle load of people. But no, it's really quiet down there. These are the outside public toilets. Even they are not too bad. I mean, it's a bit dark and they're a little bit, like, they're not that clean, but still, they're not too bad at all. This is gonna be the last thing I do today, ladies and gents, is go and eat some soba noodles because my legs are about to give way. What are we on today so far? 23,000 steps. I'm absolutely shattered. Thing is, I'm wide awake on like adrenaline. But I'm absolutely shattered at the same time. We are about to arrive at our destination. Look at this place. This is just so cool. Everywhere. Look, full. Everywhere, full. Oh, it's a big arcade, look. Wow, really big one. See, I wanna go check it out. But I'm going to eat, I'm starving. I am really hungry. Okay, we're almost there. Around the corner, there should be, there should be here. Are we here? Somewhere here. Is it this one? No, no, it's not that one. It is indeed this one. Soba noodles, here we go. What do we want with our soba noodles? This is what, this is what I'm looking for, I think. Is that, is that prawn? Smells good anyway, so we're going in. Oh, what a relief, they have English. So this is gonna be fun. 
Right, I'm looking for sober. I'm sorry if I take a long time. <laughs> I'm looking for sober noodles with, with tempura. Tempura, 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 tempura. Yeah, tempura soba. Uh, tempura soba, maybe with something else is okay. I, I don't mind. Soba with tempura crusts. Is that the one? No, that's only a uh, small. <laughs> okay. Or maybe I can try two things, like hot soba and something else. What's that? No <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, they don't have that. Oh, never mind, then I'll try something else. Chicken fillet, that'll do. Let's try that one. Okay. There we go. Oh, I have to press it again. Oh, no, I lost it. This one. Okay, you better not click the wrong one here, because, and then, here? Yeah. Oh. My first day here. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for your help. Okay, we, we finally have some food ordered. I was looking for uh, the wrong thing, it seems. Oh, thankfully, those guys uh, were so helpful. Otherwise, I really wouldn't. Oh, this is for me. What, oh, so fast? OK, thank you. OK, we're really experiencing the uh, fast food here in Japan so far we have got ourselves a bowl of soba noodles with some kind of chicken fillet now I haven't got huge expectations as it was only 600 yen so soba noodles they're kind of like wheat noodles I believe so let's try I have no idea what I'm supposed to add in there. What's this? Shall I just add some random stuff in there? Oh no, I've got it on myself. That is terrible news. I've now I'm gonna stink of uh, soy sauce or fish sauce, whatever it is. I find it interesting how they have this like seating arrangement where you just like face the wall. I've uh, never been in a restaurant where you just face the wall. I like this part of the culture, how they all put on, put their trays back on the, on the thing. I think that's so cool. Arigato, bye bye. <laughs> That's one word I've learned. This is this is a uh, vlogception. I'm on the phone to on the phone to you on the video. Hold on. Let me just talk let me just say something for the video. Okay, that is us done. That is us done for the day. 25,000 steps is enough in one day. We're going to get on the Shinjuku Metro, back to Ueno, which is about 40 minutes, back to the hotel, get a good night rest, and we will do it all again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Take care.